Jersey Sports Zone's football coverage is being brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. A Saturday morning clash in the mud in Woodbury, the defending Group 1 state champion Thundering Herd home to take on a red-hot Gloucester Lions squad. Jaden Johnson, usually a receiver for Woodbury, starting at QB in place of the injured Dante Vicarelli. First quarter, Johnson throws to the corner of the end zone, and Wilson Torres makes the catch. A 10-yard touchdown grab for Torres. The herd adds a two-point conversion and grabs an 8-0 lead. Gloucester with an answer. Jake Seibert going up top. He connects with Justin Frazier, and Frazier fights his way into the end zone. A 33-yard strike from Seibert to Frazier. The conversion is no good, but the Lions are on the board. All defense in the second quarter, though. The teams combined for five interceptions in the quarter, three for Woodbury, including a big one right before halftime. Torres with the pick in the end zone, and the Herd keep that 8-6 lead heading into the locker rooms. Late third quarter, Woodbury is on the move. Johnson throws to Ibn Muhammad. Contact immediately, but Muhammad hauls it in. First down, thundering herd. After the quarter change, Woodbury is facing fourth down, though. The throw to the end zone, broken up. Jaden Garris leading the charge on the coverage for the Lions. Garris also with an INT in the game, and the Gloucester defense holds. Then the Lions offense puts a drive together. Jacob Zierfoss on the carry, the senior with over 100 yards rushing on the day. A big chunk here to move Gloucester across midfield. Later in the drive, it's Mason Widman's turn this time. Widman breaks loose for a touchdown, a 15-yard score for Widman. He also goes over 100 yards rushing. Gloucester takes its first lead of the day with just over 10 minutes to go. The Lions again go for two. This time they convert. It's Mason Widman again. That makes it 14 to eight Gloucester. Woodbury gets a stop on defense late, so the Herd have the ball with just over two minutes left. Johnson in some trouble, but he scrambles to his right, finds Elijah Young for a first down. Woodbury down to the Gloucester 20 yard line. Again, the Herd need a touchdown to tie it. Still plenty of time left when Johnson rolls to his left. Zierfoss leaps and makes the interception. The third pick of the day for the Lions defense. Jacob Zierfoss seals the win. 14 to eight, your final. A signature victory for Gloucester and their fourth win in a row. Also some payback as the Lions fell to Woodbury 43 to 29 a year ago. We knew we had them last year, we let it slip. We had a close game going to the half and we, we let that one go. So we had, to, we had to get this one back. It's amazing, you know, for power rankings, for everything. We just knew we had to come out here and secure the win. We're only going up from here. We've been going up since week one. We got three tough games left to close out the year, and then we're looking to make another run for the finals. So Gloucester moves to four and one. The Lions travel to Deptford next week. Woodbury drops to three and two. The Herd heading to Woodstown next week. In Woodbury, I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.